Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. I'm Yanka, the excellent wife and mom, and I'm so glad you're here. Um, today I'm gonna to be talking about, um, I'm giving you four tips for keeping a tidy home. Okay, ladies, I'm just like you. I'm a mom. Um, and a lot of things that I know, these are just things that um, work for me, um, that you know I've gained experience in. And uh, one thing people say when it comes to my house, they, they all, they're always like, wow, it doesn't even look like children live here. So the way that it's accomplished is um, tip number one. And that is to make cleaning a part of your lifestyle. So what that means is, you know, it's just like healthy eating. Um, you, when you wanna change your diet or, you know, change your fitness, whatever, you get rid of all the junk, you know, it's, it's certain steps you take to incorporate that into your lifestyle, you know, even working out and all that. It's the same thing with cleaning. So, you know, you get rid of things that you don't need. And then, you know, my rule of thumb in my head, I'm always thinking, okay, whatever room I walk into, I'm gonna leave it better. So, you know, I don't walk in here without fluffing the pillows or, you know, quickly dusting. Um, you, you have to use the bathroom, right? So, you know, I have those Lysol wipes, wipe down the toilet, uh, wipe up the sink, and just, you know, quick vacuum. And these things keep, you know, neatness and tidiness throughout the day. So you're gonna pass through, well, I know I pass through, actually a lot of areas of my house daily so you know my main areas you know those ones get cleaned every single day so the dining room we use a lot the kitchen we use a lot um, now um, and so those things I'm always cleaning you know but the other things you know you pass through just do a quick little wipe up vacuum really quickly a um, little mopping if you can but just do it quickly it shouldn't take you more than like 10 minutes max all right tip number two um, do a load of laundry daily so I actually learned this from an older lady friend of mine um, years ago. She, I remember her saying, she telling me, she was telling me, she said, you know, um, she was, she worked out of the home too. She said, uh, I do a load of laundry every day. You know, I just drop it in when I, in the morning, and then I, you know, fold it up when I get back in the evening and put it away. But uh, what I do, I do the same thing. You know, it's one of the first things I do in the morning. Um, drop a load in and we're a family of six so as you can imagine if I leave that stuff out of the pile up and but I can honestly say I don't get piled up laundry very often if ever because I that's just one thing I do do a load in the morning and then um, get it out in um, this one lead me to tip number three um, make sure you have boundaries and by that I mean you know you especially if you um, your kids are here all day you're a homeschool blue mom like I am um, if you let things get out of hand, it could get messy and you're the one who's cleaning everything up. And it shouldn't be that way. You know, I think boundaries come, you have to teach children boundaries as well, because you know, one day they're gonna grow up, they're not gonna be always at your home. And they have to learn how to live peaceably with someone else. So teach them those boundaries now. You know, it's not, you can't just drag your toys and all your stuff all around the house. You know, you have to be respectful of the other people in the house. And we all don't want to mess. We don't, <laughs> and I'm certainly not going to be picking up behind everyone. I'm just not going to do that when you're able-bodied. So, and it was like my husband actually um, um, helped me, help me to this when I think we only had two kids at the time. He was like, just let them keep the toys in their room. They don't have to, it doesn't have to be throughout the house. And I'm like, actually, yeah, that's a really good idea. So that's, it's just something, you know, ever since then um, that, you know, the kids, their toys, you play in your toy room, they can be in the school room or in the, um, in their bedrooms. That's it. The rest of the house, you know, there's no need for it. They all have, you know, that's where your toys are. That's where you keep your toys. That's where you play with them at. And that's how you're respectful and mindful of others in the house. You know, this is your space, so you can go ahead and, you know, play or whatever. And so that's teaching boundaries. And so, you know, have, allow your kids to, you know, understand that because you're like, you're training them, you know, you're training them and they won't be with you always. You won't be around picking that up and, you know, simplify your life, you know, make it simple, keep it simple for yourself. And then that leads me into my next step is to involve your kids in cleaning. And here's another thing my husband and I learned when my 
kid, my second kid was two years old. My husband like, clean it, clean your playroom, clean your room, whatever he said. And that kid cleaned that room almost as good as I, I could. And I was like, wow, two years old. And so ever since that day, I have never picked up another anything for them because they know how to do it. And so I'm like, they running games on me <laughs> when their father had said something. So, you know, even now, you know, I have four kids um, and they all, they pick up behind them themselves. You know, they know when you eat, after you eat, you um, wipe off your mat, you put it away, you put all your stuff away, you push your chair in. Um, when you get up in the morning, you make your bed, you make sure your room is picked up. And so they, they, those are the areas they're responsible for. You're in your um, play area. That's not my play area, I'm not playing there, you are. You know, So you pick those things up, you return them in order. And if they can't keep the order, then that means you probably have too much stuff and we probably need to donate some stuff and get rid of some of this stuff. So they're pretty cooperative in that way. And again, you know, you're training them because like I said, um, you know, when you go to college, um, you have a roommate and that's the one thing you like people who are neat and people who are not neat and that, that just doesn't work in a move room made a, a move out or whatever and so that's just one way to prepare them you know keep your stuff neat keep things in order be respectful for, of other people and you know that builds confidence in, in them that this is something that I can do you know mom's not the only one in this house who's cleaned up I can do this you know and so those are my four tips um, and I'm just gonna go over them one more time um, so you want to make cleaning a part of your lifestyle. So again, neatening neat, neat up and leaving every place you walk through throughout the day or you're in throughout the day, leave it better than you um, walk through it. Your tip number two is to um, do a load of laundry every day. Put a load in in the morning, fold it up and let your kids help with that because I don't fold anyone's laundry except for my and my husband's laundry. And the kids, they do the rest and they know how to fold. They've been doing it since they were little bitty things. And so they know how to fold and put away their stuff. So let them do that. Um, number three was to, you know, set boundaries and let your kids know, you know, your toys go here and here and this is where you play with your toys. The rest of the house is not their playground and we're not gonna leave, you know, disorder and disarray everywhere. We're not gonna do that. And then tip number four, involve the kids in cleaning. Let them clean their spaces. Let them help you clean. You know, my girls, when I'm cleaning up the house or whatever, they help me with that. And they like to, too. So those are the tips, lady. I hope they're helpful to you. And um, thank you for watching. God bless. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye.